Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here and today I want to help you travel smarter by bringing you to Caoba Farms which is right on the outskirts of Antigua. It is a farm where they serve breakfast, lunch and dinner and where all of the ingredients are made here. Caoba Farms is right outside of Antigua but within walking distance of the city center. Previously, these three acres of land were used to grow coffee and roses, but when Alex Kronick, a Guatemalan native, bought and founded Coaba Farms in 2004, he converted the land into an organic farm. Today, Coaba Farm produces over 100 organic crops and has expanded to over 45 acres. They supply many of Antigua and Guatemala City's restaurants and hotels with fresh fruits, vegetables, dairy, and meat. But Wednesday through Sundays, their restaurant Coaba Cafe is open for meals with the ingredients literally going from farm to table just a few meters away. So all these fresh ingredients are grown on the farm and all of the various options from the mint tea which I'm having now is all grown here on this farm. So it's walking distance from Antigua. It's about an 800 meter walk. So it's about 20 minutes or so. And you go past some of these roads which are not very well marked, but if you've got it on your phone, if you got the map on your phone, it's pretty easy to find. And it's actually not too difficult to actually walk here. It's a very easy walk, very flat and straight. Just walk by the side of the road. And then you show up and you are basically in this farm and the farm has a couple of different areas it has a shop it has a restaurant which is why I am here today is to get breakfast but also to enjoy some of the other items on their menu so they have a variety of different juices and teas but I saw this mint tea they grow the mint here and I was like let me let me just uh, give that a shot and try it Ooh, strong almost like candy cane type flavor that's what this tastes like and it's really good very refreshing for early in the morning it's about 10 a.m. now they open at 8 they're not open every day and the restaurant is not open every day so you want to check the hours to make sure you get here when you can actually you know visit and eat at the restaurant it's pretty early it's not too many people here yet but the kitchen is going the butchers are chopping up the meat we've got the oven going for pizza, we've got juices being mixed, and everything looks, uh, looks pretty good. I can't wait to eat. Coaba Farms is more than just an example of sustainable agriculture. They also have volunteer opportunities and a learning center to teach others in the community environmentally efficient farming practices. All right, so a whole bunch of food just arrived. We're gonna go in pieces. So let's start with what's on the table. The first is a veggie omelet with cheese. It has inside eggplant, tomato, onions, and potato as well. On top of it, a little edible flour and some salsa on the side. Over here, we have some caoba potatoes, which are potatoes that are grown right here so these potatoes are grown here as well as some chia with fruits but it's really like an overnight oats type of deal where the fruits and the chia are all let to sit overnight so it really absorbs that flavor and it gets that mushiness but i'm going to start with the omelet oh and i forgot to mention they also make their own bread here so we've got sourdough bread here as well just take a look at the presentation definitely presentation skills here are 10 out of 10. I mean, look at that. It looks lovely. What makes this place so unique, the little bit of this sauce here on the top, is that everything is just grown literally like right back there. All right, so I'm gonna cut into this first bite. And, you can, ooh, and the cheese is just so sticky and gooey. And there you go. It's the first bite. Mmm. That cheese is amazing. The cheese is almost like a thicker mozzarella with a little bit of Swiss flavor to it. And then on the inside here we have, looks like some spinach. Can I mention how good the cheese is? A egg pizza with kale. But it's not, it's kale that tastes good. It's very fresh and the tomatoes are very sweet. This has got to be my favorite breakfast I've had here. <laughs> there are these little bits of eggplant as well. I kind of feel like I'm eating an omelette, a salad, 
and a pizza all mixed in one. All right, so now that we've finished with the omelet, I think, I think the natural thing to do is to kind of go over to these potatoes and try some of the some of the bread. So let's see. Really good. I just noticed that there are these two sauces here. This red one, which is like chili, so I'm gonna I'm down with that. Ah, strawberry jam. Really good. We're talking about this sauce, so let's see what this this is all about. Time for a Fox Nomad spice test. Oh yeah, that is a spicy red chili. Not as spicy as the green varieties I've had here. All right, so these are called kawaba potatoes because they are grown here, and they have they almost look like sweet potatoes because they have this red color to them. They're not really white but more orangey definitely compared to the green spices that's not no that's not all right so it looks like it's a mix of three different types of potatoes we have the sweet potato which is the orange one we have this yellow one which is like a golden potato we have this one in the middle which is not as sweet of a potato it's more of a yam again it's one of those things that you find on plates in guatemala a lot of colors and a lot of flavors that you wouldn't expect to combine, but when they come together, just really good. All right, potatoes down. I think now it's time to get into some chia. All right, look at that. All right, fresh fruits. We are on a farm, after all. Fresh melon scoops, pineapple, and um, ooh, look at that some uh, some chocolate some cacao on the top this just went to the next level all right now it's time to dig in the actual chia itself and it's been sitting overnight and that is macadamia nut milk it's not very sweet but there is some chocolate sauce so I gotta say eating here is definitely an experience just the ambiance the staff who are very friendly and attentive and you just feel like you're somewhere else. You're, you're just outside of Antigua. It's like a 10 minute walk, 20 minute walk, but you feel like you're in a totally different place completely. Unlike most restaurants, Coaba Cafe is a place where you can actually see where your meal's ingredients came from. The farm is just steps away from the restaurant and you can and are encouraged to walk around and visit the fields. Coaba Farm uses double reach rows to maximize their growing area, which seems to go on and on. You could spend an hour here just wandering around the farm, finding flowers, eggplant, cauliflower, tomatoes, and enjoying the serenity of the surrounding fields. So they also have this store where you can buy a bunch of the produce that's actually grown on the farms, as well as things like teas and coffees. They've got ice cream vegan gluten-free options they've got meat options they've got a huge variety of things it's actually a very large shop it's bigger than you expect when you see it from the outside so if you're staying in Antigua for a while and you want to do some health food shopping or you want to get some fresh produce this is also another great place to check it out it's the store at Coaba Farms but after your meal you can also come out here and check out some of the some of the farm itself and uh, where a lot of your food was grown, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice to just stroll around and you're free to just wander around and they actually encourage it. So it's, uh, it's nice. They also have a playground here for children and a yoga studio for yoga classes. And aside from the main area where I was eating, they also have these little benches or tables that are actually inside the farm in this uh, little garden so it's a little bit cozy so they have extra seating out here as well which is uh, really nice and just adds to the ambiance of the whole place. So I'm really glad I found this place because it's just so interesting and so different and so close to town. Farm just wandering around here is just really nice to see all the things that they're growing and to see what's on your plate and to meet all the people who work here who are really friendly and willing to answer any questions you might have. 
and I really just recommend that you come here to have a meal in your time in Antigua because it is just so unique. Food is very good and the ambiance and the, the location is just really great and uh, really exciting. So if you have any questions about here, I will uh, be down in the comments answering them. But while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week and I'll see you in the next video. Honestly, it's worth it to come here just to eat. The food is that good. My only regret is that I can't eat more because I would love to try their whole menu. I would love to just eat everything on the menu right now. <laughs>